Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I have an exciting package to share with you. It is from Maria, who is Paylist Blue. You all probably know her from her awesome YouTube videos. Uh, she's also on Instagram. Uh, but she has an Etsy shop, and I've been so excited, and I wanted to share this with you. Uh, her Etsy shop name is Palest Blue Shop, and of course I will leave the link below. So I just opened it, uh, I just cut it open, and I haven't seen anything yet, so I just wanted to share the unboxing process. So here we go. Oh boy, she sent me <laughs> some other stuff. It looks like uh, this one here. So I suppose this is kind of like a happy mail as well. <laughs> this is the Aqua Marker Water Base Twin Tip. Oh, really, really excited to try this. This is in Deco Peach. And I think this is a note. I'm just going to read that. Oh, so this is the note of her shop. It says, thank you very much for your order. Our Etsy shop is brand new and you're one of our first, very first customers. Please don't hesitate to contact us should there be anything that you are not contempt with. And that's the email address. We will do everything we can to sort it out. Your satisfaction is very important to us. We wish you lots of fun with your new stamps. All of our best, Marie and Tim. Oh, that's nice. And then there's this handmade uh, watercolor, like galaxy. You can see that there. That's really, really pretty. So I ordered one of her sets, her acrylic uh, stamps. And I believe, I think there's eight designs currently on her shop. And this one is, uh, oh. oh my gosh. Oh, Maria. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Let me just open this up. So she sent me a card, uh, this beautiful pretty card with some glittery clouds. And I'm not <laughs> going to show you, but it's really, really nice. I can't believe this. And then this says, I heart you, uh, like a clear vellum thing. And some awesome washi tape samples. And she mentioned in her card that I was looking for a like a water-based skin tone type of marker, and that's why she included that. And I can't believe, oh my goodness, <laughs> as you can see, there are four sets of her stamps. I ordered one of them. Oh, Marie, I ordered this beautiful, um, uh, what is it called? I think it's called Doilies. I'll have to uh, put a link down below, or, or the name below. But I wanted to use this to decorate, uh, of course, my I have my traveler's notebook here handy. Um, I wanted to use these stamps in here as well as my junk journal. So it has all of her links here, her YouTube, Instagram, and her website. Uh, don't forget to use the hashtag Palest Blue Stamps when you post the, your creations on your on the social media. And then there's a care guide. Um, Yeah, so there's this really pretty doily set, and it has seven doilies, and this awesome planner stamp set, so you can have your Philofax, your Traveler's Notebook, your Hobonichitecho, I guess you can have, like, it's a um, ring-bound <laughs> planner, and then it has a nice to-do stamp, uh, as well as your mini Traveler's Notebook versions, and then it has these different headings. It has planning session, decoration, plan, monthly, weekly, and a heart. Oh my goodness. And then this really pretty banner set. You can see here there's a sakura flowers. Uh, there's a one that's almost like a full circle. And then there's a smaller one here. A heart. And another one here. And a flower. This is so pretty. And oh my goodness, Maria, this one has coffee. I love my coffee. And then there's so many various types of uh, cups and uh, coffees that are there. There's a tea pot there, uh, coffee, two coffee cups there, one with a heart. And then the headings that are available are coffee date, coffee love, grab a coffee, and coffee with a heart. And grab a cup of coffee. 
Uh, and then there's like these coffee beans as well. Oh, you can use these on top of these coffee mugs as well. If you can see that here, hopefully it's in focus. Oh my goodness, I can't believe she sent me so many extras. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to try it out. So let me uh, grab my traveler's notebook just to show you. I, you know what? In <laughs> my last week, I didn't really do much. I was going to put like a quote here. And yeah, I haven't. Maybe I'll do some stamping here just so that I can show you. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to use some chalk ink. Uh, that's what I like to use uh, for my planners because the chalk ink sits at, on the top layer and it doesn't uh, seep through or anything like that. So I, I haven't used these in a while so hopefully they're okay. I just have them stored in this plastic container. Uh, but because of this theme Sorry, I have to get my acrylic block. Excited to try this doilies out. If you're curious to know the size, I believe she mentions it on the website, on the Etsy. But uh, it's about 7.5 by 10. I think she says A6 size or was it B6? Oh, I don't remember. But anyways, so let's try some of these out. Nice and sticky. So let's choose maybe this color here. This is Versa Magic in Egan Blue. I think I'm pronouncing it okay. Uh, let's try that one. Oh, it's so pretty. So I'm just going to wipe it off with a baby wipe. Let's try another one with a different color. And let's see what other colors I have. Maybe I'll try a purple. Okay. So this one is called Pretty, Pretty Petunia. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> so those are the stamps for the doilies. I think I will be flipping through my journal, uh, my junk journal, just so that I can stamp some of these doilies throughout the pages. And if I have enough battery time, I will maybe do that on camera with you. Let's see if I can stamp anything for next week. Maybe this one is perfect, this sun here. I don't know if it's going to fit on my... Let me get my other block. So just right off the bat, um, I guess first impressions, the stamp set, like the, the stamp itself is really substantial and it doesn't feel like it's too flimsy or anything. I don't have a lot of like acrylic stamps, but you can sometimes feel the difference between the companies. Uh, I've noticed that, um, I don't know, just some, some of them feel a little bit more flimsier, but uh, these ones most definitely feel like really sturdy and nice and substantial, I guess, <laughs> is what I'm looking for. But yeah, it doesn't feel at all like it's it's too weak or it's um, like the the plastic is too flimsy or anything which is really, really nice. So I'm just going to lie this down here. I think this should be okay, this size. There we go. I think that's good. Okay, so for color, maybe something like that. This one is Sahara Sand. I use this color a lot uh, when I was using it uh, for my Filofax. I don't know, I don't use my chalk inks that often lately. Okay, so let's see how this goes. 
Oh, that's so nice. You can see how pretty that is. Maybe the color choice was not the best, but it's still really, really pretty. So I think I'm going to write a quote uh, inside. I wanted to do that anyway, so I just haven't selected the quote yet. Um, I think I might, if I have enough time, I might uh, stamp through, use some of the doily stamps and stamp through uh, my junk journal. Because that's what I want to do as well. So let me quickly do that. My weeks. Oh, I have three minutes. Um, okay, maybe I'll show you something that I can use for my week. This is where I do my planning, and I don't usually, probably see, I don't decorate or anything like that. It's just really, just I just plan. <laughs> but I wanted to show you for those people who are interested in planning in their Hobonichi weeks. I really want to use this Sakura one. I think it'll be so pretty as a banner. It's nice and like delicate and very, um, yeah, I guess delicate is the word. And maybe I'll try this pink. Oh, this one I have here. This one is Pixie Dust. The Sakura is almost finished here, unfortunately. It rained and then all the flowers fell. Um, but they might see some if you go up north. So I think I'll put this as a banner here. I don't know if I'm in center, I can't tell. Hopefully it is. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. I don't know if you can see that. It might not pick up on camera, the light color. Oops. Oh, my son is awake. <laughs> I guess he didn't nap very long. So that's the sakura flower. So that's the banner there. So pretty. So it's perfect. Uh, if you want to use the banner set, it's um, perfect sizing for the Hobonichi Weeks as well. You can see there. <laughs> okay, my son is interested in the stamps too. So I just want to wish Maria a huge congratulations. Thank you so very much for the extra stamp sets. I'm floored. I can't believe it. Um, I ordered one of the I ordered the doily one, and then she messaged saying that she wanted to just send an extra one. Uh, but oh my goodness, I can't believe the extra three she sent. Like I just, wow. Thank you so much, Maria. I'm just so very happy and excited for you. I only have one minute left, so I just want to convey my a huge, a huge appreciation for you and for your friendship. I wish you nothing but continued success on your Etsy shop. I know it will be booming and I just... I'm just so happy and excited that you have your Etsy shop finally up and running. Please don't forget to check out her page, uh, her YouTube channel as well, if you want to see how she uses her stamp sets for her Filofax. And there's, a, <laughs> there's an airplane coming. Yeah. I hope you guys can hear me, but I just want to say thank you so much for sticking by. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.